what is the number one thing I have taken away from my 29, my short 29 years on Earth? There's a lot of things. I feel like especially in today's like modern society, there is a lot of intentional obfuscation. Like people try and make things more complicated than they are. And it really is that simple. A lot of the times, whatever your problem is or whatever the thing is, is that simple. It really is as simple as doing the thing or, or whatever it is. I feel like that's probably a, uh, a big one. Another big one is that at the end of the day, we're all just big, dumb cavemen. Every single like weird behavioral thing that you see in society, you should parse everything with the filter of we are big cavemen. We're just big, stupid monkeys. That's all we are. And if you parse everything through that evolutionary psychology filter, the world begins to make more sense. And even your own actions begin to make more sense. Where it's like, oh yeah, I'm just a big dumb fucking caveman. And that's why I think like this. And that's why I feel this way. And that's why other people are doing this thing. is because they're just big dumb cavemen. Because we are. Technology has rapidly evolved, but we evolutionar evolutionarily just don't keep up with that. We aren't evolved to be in this TikTok tender society. So things just get very weird. And if you just take a step back and be like, I'm a big dumb gorilla, then it makes more sense. One thing that I've had a lot of success with, and I don't, I don't consider myself a, a particularly smart person. I think I'm average intelligence. But I know that I'm av like I know that I'm not the smartest one. So I actually surround myself with people that are smart, and a lot of the best decisions I've made have just been me following advice from other people that are smart. So I'm I'm smart enough to know I'm stupid. That's where uh, that's another piece of advice I have, at least for me. Like, I, I don't particularly, like, if we were to do some sort of IQ test or some sort of uh, brain game, memory, you know, four square, hit the colors in the right order shit, I guarantee I'd be the dumbest fucking person here. But I know that. I know that. So I will look at all the mistakes everybody else has made and, and just try and be a fly on the wall when all these other smart people are talking. And as crazy as it sounds... Wildstar, when I was raiding an Enigma in that guild full of 45 degenerates, I learned so much because a lot of the people in that guild are, uh, a lot of the people that were in that guild were, you know, bottom feeder leeches on government benefits, just the worst possible people. But some of them were retired lawyers, business owners, people that had, you know, one life. And now they just play video games all day. And just listening to those guys talk and just rattle ideas back and forth, I learned so much. And in, in not even about like specific things, just like mentality things. And I, I don't know, man, just like being around those guys, it just rubbed off on me. And it really helped me a lot. And even though that game crashed and burned and nothing ever happened, and from a video game perspective, it was a waste of time. From a YouTube content creation perspective, it was pretty much a waste of time. Man, that was, a, I'm so glad I did it. Because I learned so much just being in TeamSpeak with all those guys, with some of them saying autistic bullshit that was honestly brilliant at times. But then just, man, it was a real, it was a real experience. And I'm glad I did it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to subscribe with notifications on. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and join the Discord. It's free.